we went in thinking that she would have a great meet. It superseded our expectations, as she's done on several different occasions here in her time. She uh, went out and chased Ledecky at a pace that was just unbelievably fast and um, ended up getting home better than her. So for her to go 4 0 and record, I don't know, it was second or third fastest time in the history of the sport, you know, it's just, it's astonishing, you know, what she's been able to accomplish here. 4 0 Ledecky wasn't even doing that as of a year or a year and a half ago. So she's in rarefied air to swim that fast. That, that was absolutely one of the better, probably one of the top three swims of the entire meet when you look back on the entire eight days. You know, our 800 free relay that United States is going to put up is much better because of Leah Smith. And Leah Smith will be, um, should be a very reliable leg on that, that honestly has a great shot at winning a gold medal. I think the great thing about Leah is the bigger the stage, the brighter the lights, um, the better she's going to do. She's one of those rare athletes that, that thrives in those types of environments. But you know, at the same time, just realizing that she's at a swim meet. This is something she's been doing since she's been six years old. We're just swimming up and down a pool. Uh, you know, obviously the, the stage is a bit bigger. You know, this is the this is the biggest stage you can be on in the sport of swimming. But you know, this is an opportunity that she's worked for for the past, geez, 12 years. And, and she needs to, to know that she's earned this and to embrace it and to have fun with this opportunity that, that most people just go to bed dreaming about. But now she gets to wake up living it. So I knew her confidence had to be sky high. It was just making sure we were prepared for each scenario, which she, she was ready for. We took a lot of time to, to make sure she was mentally prepared and prepped for, for whatever the meet was going to throw at her. Um, and then going into it as a coach, I don't know if I've ever been more nervous. <laughs> my, actually, my mom was sitting next to me, and cause she's a coach herself, and she was laughing at me. Uh, I couldn't stop moving. I, you know, I felt like I'd swam every stroke of the lap or of the race with her. So uh, it was uh, truly one of the, behind my wedding night, the most memorable moment in my life, for sure. I mean, it was a dream come true. And, and I had been um, thinking for a while that I had a, a pretty good chance, but I mean, it doesn't beat touching the wall and, and really you know, looking up and seeing a one or two by your name. So that was really, really cool. Um, and it was really exciting to do it with Katie. Um, she's been so fast for so long that um, definitely have been shooting to be up with her so that was really cool so it definitely gave me the confidence for the rest of my events um, and took a little bit of pressure off so that I could really just enjoy the rest of the meet and have fun um, and still know that I, I was gonna put up some pretty good times in my other events and I have so so much respect for all of the um, UVA alums who have come before me especially the Olympians too um, because I've definitely looked up to them for a while and um, I think that UVA sent a swimmer every Olympic since 1996, and so this time around I really um, was hoping to be one of them. So yeah, I mean, I've definitely wanted to contribute to that tradition for a while. I think it'll be a challenge to shoot for a medal, but something that I'm so excited about, and I think it's a realistic goal, um, even though it'll be a challenge, but um, I think that, I mean, I'm going out there to represent the U.S., so shooting for anything less um, is not really in me. Um, but yeah, I mean, I really would love to come back with some hardware. And we will be flying to San Antonio for a domestic camp, which is where kind of the public can watch a lot of the practices. We can interact with a lot of different people. Um, and then our training camp will be in Atlanta. Um, so that's really exciting because um, I've had a lot of meets there and so really love the city. And then we'll, we'll probably be down in Rio by August 2nd, I think. It helps you a lot to stop and enjoy life like while you're doing a lot of this and not to get too caught up in the whole process of things and my coach is always stressed you know take things one step at a time and I think that four years ago if I had just started thinking Rio 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 like I wouldn't be where I am today I think I had a lot of things that I needed to check off my list to do and I think that doing things incrementally really helped me a lot.